Hello and welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today we're getting a chance to take a look at a hybrid bike that combines the durability and stability of a mountain bike with that fun and usability of a fitness bike. So in front of us here is the Breezer Midtown 1.7. And in this video, we're gonna go into who Breezer is, what they're all about, check out some of the unique features of this bike, and of course, finally find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, I suggest you stick around and consider hitting subscribe to check out more bikes like this as well. Aptly, I believe a great place to start when talking about this bike is who Breezer is and what they're all about. So Breezer is Joe Breeze's bike brand. Now it's been around for quite some time and you may know who Joe Breeze is. So in the 70s, Joe Breeze was among, you know, other riders like Gary Fisher and the like getting into clunkers and mountain biking and really evolving that scene. And Joe Breeze is known for in the late 70s, creating some of the first mountain bikes. And those bikes were often known as Breezers. And that is where this brand comes from. And today, Breezer itself makes a line of very fun mountain bikes, some gravel bikes that we've taken a look at on this channel as well. And then they also have some city bikes like the bike we have in front of us. Now what makes them a little bit different and a little more unique is that these city bikes often combine a lot of mountain bike style tech into a city bike so that you get the durability and some of the stability of those mountain bikes wrapped all into one. Now, this bike, so I'm told, builds up quite a bit nicer than some of the other big name brand bikes in a similar price point. And from what I've heard is a lot of that has to do with the quality of components. Now, this particular bike in front of us is about $800 and it's gonna be coming all with name brand stuff like these WTB 27 and a half inch SX19 rims that are laced up to hubs that adjust very easily of course, quick release. And then you have just the small things like the Goodyear Transit Tour tires that come on here in a 27 by 2.0. And so when they start wrapping up things like wheel sets with good quality hubs, nice rims laced up, uh, and then wrapped with some name brand tires, it's really neat to see that happening, especially on a mid-level hybrid like this. Now, we did just see that these are 27 and a half by 2.0 width. And that means this is gonna be a little bit wider tire than you would often have on a traditional fitness or city bike. So 2.0 inches is maybe about a half inch or three quarters of an inch wider than the traditional 700 by 38 C that you might see. And then they've also got those 27 and a half inch wheels, which that is a slightly smaller diameter wheel, but it allows for quite a bit more tire volume. So when you're going over potholes, rough roads, things like that, it's gonna handle that quite a bit better than just a standard 700C. Now the trade-off is slightly slower rolling, but I think on a bike like this, that's not that big of a deal. Now the frame itself is gonna be made out of aluminum. You'll see it's got internal cable routing, of course, a threaded bottom bracket down there. And then out back, you've got mounts for racks, fenders, all the like on the bike. You also have a spot for a direct mount kickstand, which is always nice to see, a good durable way to add it in. And then you've got the Breezer dropouts, which these are a nice chunky alloy dropout. That's always nice to see. And through this inch and an eighth head tube that features integrated bearings, another nice feature that you'd find on a better quality mountain bike here on this hybrid, you then have this alloy fork. Unlike some of the other brands, this of course is not all that shaped, but it's gonna be nice and strong and durable. You've got mounts for racks and fenders, of course, on the front end. And that ties together with the frame, which has two water bottle mounts, even in this 16 and a half inch frame size. And going into the rest of the fit of this bike, let's check out this cockpit. This is another place that you really see some of the mountain bike come out on the rig. So 31.8 bar clamp, of course, alloy bar, which is good. And then a alloy stem, which does have a little bit of a rise to it, even though it's this nice stubby stem. If you've been looking at a lot of hybrids, oftentimes the reach of the frame is a little bit shorter and then the stem itself is a little bit longer. But because this is taken from mountain bike style geometry, they've lengthened the front end of the bike, shortened the stem, which should give nice responsive steering, but keep the wheelbase long enough to be stable. And then out to the sides are gonna be ergo grips. 
no shifter on the left side, and that's because this is one by only. So here we've got a traditional twist shift, which this is love it or hate it. Uh, I do like that it's got the indicator to see what gear you're in. And then these breezer grips that are on the bike, they are still lock on. So there's a little alloy lock there. You can see the aluminum lock collar. And so even though they look like a traditional ergo grip, they are lock ons like mountain bikes. So they're not gonna twist around and you're not gonna have that flat part of the grip that goes to the palm of your hand rotating away. Out back is a standard saddle. This is a place where most likely you might want to upgrade. This, uh, in my opinion, is not the most comfortable saddle, but remember saddles are specific to you. And then down below that is an alloy seat post with a two bolt clamp mechanism for a secure way to adjust the angle of your saddle. And then something that's just a small feature that I like to see is that your seat binder, this is a five millimeter Allen head. So in most cases, that's a four mil but this harkens back to some of the more durable parts with a five millimeter Allen, which should make it nice and strong. And in fact, on that same note, talking about five mils, you'll see all the other hardware are these five millimeter bolts rather than running the traditional four mils. And that's a small thing, but that's the kind of stuff that's gonna aid in future durability of the bike and make sure that it doesn't round off. Now towards the drivetrain of this Midtown 1.7 is you'll see it's a one by drivetrain. So this is a single ring up front, eight speeds out back, just a standard alloy crank set with standard rings up front. And then out back, it's a cassette running an 11 to 34 tooth. Now, believe it or not, even on some of the bigger brands, sometimes at this price point, you'll even see a freewheel. So I love to see that this is a free hub body setup with a cassette on top, the much more durable way to do it. And this is a Shimano branded cassette and the shifting is done through the Shimano Altus rear derailleur. Now these Altus derailleurs are not necessarily the fanciest derailleurs in the world. And one other thing that I'd like to change up on this bike is you'll see that this has a traditional single ring. I would have really liked to see this have a narrow wide up front or at least some sort of chain retention. Now I've spent some time riding this particular bike around and have not had an issue with the chain jumping off, but I can see having a bit of chain retention or a narrow wide chain ring would help even more with the durability. Now the last thing to talk about with durability is slowing the bike down and that is courtesy of some Tektro brakes. Now these brakes are mechanically operated with a single piston down on 160 millimeter rotors and these mechanical disc brakes may not be as sexy as a set of hydraulics but they're super easy to maintain and super super durable. Well anyways now that we've checked out this bike I think it's time we find out exactly what it weighs. So the Breezer Midtown 1.7 and a size 16 and a half is going to come in and weigh 25.84 pounds. Well, thanks for joining me to check out this Breezer Midtown 1.7. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts on this bike down in the comment section below. Do you think this is an interesting option if you stray away from the big three or would you pass? I'd love to know your thoughts about Breezer down in the comment section and do browse the channel as well as hit the like button if you enjoyed the video.